Hello, this video is to guide teachers through the new Google Expedition system. So this is the view that a teacher would experience in guiding an expedition on a handheld device or a tablet. So the first, first thing you want to do is open the Expeditions app, hit accept. Now you'll be presented with several different expeditions. Notice I have some with check marks and some without. The ones with check marks are the ones that I've downloaded previously. Um, so if I want to select an expedition like Mount Everest, I'd have to uh, select Mount, Mount Everest and I'll get the icon that shows me the downloading arrow and I would not enter your classroom to begin this experience without having downloaded the expedition first. You can also go up and search for expeditions so they're, they're grouped by theme but you could also type in something that you're searching for. So if I'm going to select the seven new wonders of the world. So this expedition, if I begin this expedition, has seven different scenes or panoramas. So, you know, the Taj Mahal, the Great Wall of China, um, the Colosseum. So I'm going to start with the Great Wall of China. So if I have students that I'm using the expedition with, I'd want to hit the play button. When I hit the play button, their devices will automatically connect and they'll be able to view the scene. So, you know, I can scroll around and just see the different scenes that the students would then be able to experience. I also have this text that I can read the students about the Great Wall. I also then have questions that I can ask and there's three levels of questions. There's beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So I can, you know, those questions can, can provide um, a prompt for discussion. And then lastly, there's some points of interest at the bottom of the, of the, uh, the guide. So if I hit this, the first tower, the, I will automatically be directed to the tower. And if I move off the tower, while I'm highlighting that point of interest, the arrow will point me and the students back to that direction where I can then um, discuss the tower with the students. So if I'm done with this panorama or scene, I can then move on to the next and I can look at the Colosseum. So again, all the students will have the Great Wall of China until I hit the play button. When I hit the play button, I now get the Rome panorama and the Colosseum. And again, I get the, the text about the Colosseum. I get the questions and then I get my points of interest that I can then discuss and guide and lead the students to. So um, I think this is a great system that really provides the students with tremendous opportunities that they would not be able to experience otherwise. Thank you.